I'd like your opinion on Mila Dishwasher complaints. Of the Consumer Reports 2015 Dishwasher Reviews, the top Mila was 30-something on the list. There were over a hundred dishwashers on that list. Hitting to top third is not bad. The future managed above average energy efficiency, and unlike a Maytag, not because it is not working half the time. The top rated Mila was better than average at cleaning and noise level. High quality does not explain all the complaints I've heard. The complaints start when someone realizes it does that at two to three times the cost of higher rated dishwashers. Equal quality at twice the price. The Mila Future Crystal is twice the price, while the Mila Diamond is three times the price for a merely average performing model. Yeah, I'd hate paying a premium price for a mediocre product. Electrolux manages to make you pay a premium price for a poor product, but quality is measured by expectations, not performance. Why is the more expensive one worse, other than expectations? The cheaper one has a much longer cycle time, and that's still around 2 hours for the standard wash cycle. Put it on turbo, and it is a little under 2 hours. That's not my definition of fast. Consumer reports back in 2013 joked that you could buy all four of the top washers that did as good or better than the Mila Futura Diamond in performance for the Mila's price. Can you give me more detail on complaints other than price relative to performance? They do not do a good job drying anything, despite all the wash options. And if you do not put it on the heavy-duty cycle, nothing will get clean. I'm assuming the problem is not really due to hard water too much detergent or overloading the dishwasher. With hot water and a rinse agent, it may not get your coffee cups clean. That would be something to complain about when you pay that much for it. The cost of a replacement pump if that goes out is equal to the cost of a cheap Kenmore or LG dishwasher. Electrolux charges you a fortune for parts too. The wash pumps go out every two to three years if you use it for a whole family's dishes. And labor is always different from the parts under the warranty, if customer service honors the warranty at all. Then I'll save myself the hassle and not buy a Mila at all. It's less trouble than buying the Mila now and the LG or Kenmore later.